Hey guys, this is Eric, and um, I'm going to give you a special video today. Uh, I was invited in to do an ostomy tag by Tyla Skye. Uh, she's another ostomate. Uh, she has wonderful videos on YouTube. I'll post the link down below so you can check out uh, her videos. But she was um, answering 10 questions about her ostomy. And she had invited other people to do the same, and I was one of those people. So uh, I've got 10 questions here that I'm going to answer, and then I'm going to list another three people that I'd like to have uh, answer these same questions. So let's get started. Now the first question is, why do you have an ostomy? Now I have my ostomy because of Crohn's disease. Um, essentially, I have uh, or had a severe perianal disease, which is associated with Crohn's colitis, which is not the same as ulcerative colitis. Um, so my Crohn's disease was isolated to the colon and uh, it got to the point where the colon was essentially useless, the rectum was, you know, completely shot and um, really the best decision would be to uh, move forward to get an ostomy. Now the second question is, what type of ostomy do you have? Um, now because my colon and rectum were both removed, uh, there was basically nowhere else to reconnect it but the end of the small intestine, so I have an ileostomy. Now the third question is, does your stoma have a name? I never actually got to name my stoma. Uh, it was just something that never came up. I know a lot of people do, and I was kind of thinking of names, but it, it just wasn't something that, uh, that came to mind. So maybe eventually I will, but uh, this time I don't have a name for my stoma. So question number four is, what is your favorite ostomy-friendly food? Now, I love food. Um, especially more since having my ostomy because with Crohn's disease I, I really wasn't able to eat anything. But um, my go-to food tends to be potatoes. I love potatoes whether they're mashed, whether they're boiled, whether they're steamed or microwaved or you know baked, it doesn't matter but uh, as long as it's a potato I'll eat it. And uh, I just find that they're really, you know, they're filling, uh, they've, they're, they're packed with a lot of nutrients. Uh, at the beginning, I would actually eat the, the potato skinned because I know a lot of the time skins create problems for new ostomates. So that was something that I was doing, you know, peeling my potatoes. But I generally just eat them as they are and, and you know, throw in some seasoning and whatnot. But yeah, that, that's probably my favorite uh, ostomy friendly food. Now, question number five is uh, what is your favorite ostomy friendly outfit? Now, um,. I did a video and I wrote a post about you know how to dress with an ostomy from a, a male's perspective and I know that that seems to be a challenge for a lot of uh, men but uh, you know I, I like casual personally so you know a t-shirt and jeans or shorts if the weather's uh, nice enough uh, I don't tend to go out much where you know I'd need to be dressed up so you know I just try to keep it casual now I do wear things like uh, ostomy uh, wraps uh, stoma guards and things like that, you know, whenever they're appropriate, but uh, I, I typically tend to just go um, very plain, very casual. Number six is, can you play sports and what sports do you play? Now, before I was diagnosed with Crohn's disease, uh, I was a, a soccer player um, and it was in a casual league, so, you know, we just had a bunch of friends get together and, uh, and we'd play soccer and I really enjoyed that. Uh, growing up, I was, you know, a sprinter. I used to do a lot of running and things like that, and I really enjoyed those. But uh, since having Crohn's disease, sports just, you know, weren't something that I was able to get back into. You know, I didn't have the energy to do it, and uh, I had to drop a lot of those um, physical activities. Now, having said that, since having my ostomy, um, you know, I like to get more into walking and, and doing exercises and things like that, so perhaps next summer, um, I might get back into the sports. Now number seven is name a thing that you hate about having an ostomy. It's kind of um, a touchy question I think to ask because I'm, I'm so grateful for my ostomy and um, knowing where I was before uh, my ostomy and knowing where I am now it's just I, I find things to hate about the ostomy really they don't even come into mind. Now if there was one thing that I don't like about having an ostomy, it's probably the expenses re related to it. Um, I live in Canada, and uh, in Canada we don't get our supplies covered like some other countries do. So a lot of what I have to get is either out of pocket, or I have to pay for private insurance to get. Um, you know, we do have grants here in Ontario where the government will pay uh, ostomates, permanent ostomates, uh, $600 a year. 
but you know, six hundred dollars covers maybe a month, two months, three months. It's it's not a lot, um, especially if you have skin issues and you're having to get more supplies. So that's probably the one thing that I don't like about having an ostomy. Now, number eight is what is one thing that you love about having an ostomy? And to be honest, I think because I came from a place where urgent bowel movements, pain, and you know all the things that went with Crohn's disease were just so much a part of my life and they were so restricting. I think just having the freedom to not experience that anymore. I think that's probably the thing that I love the most. Um, you know, having an ostomy is pretty convenient sometimes. Uh, you know, you don't have to go to the bathroom like a normal person would have to. So, you know, I'm, I can basically poop all day and, you know, empty my pouch when it gets full. And, you know, that, that can come in handy a lot of the time. So that's probably the one thing that I really love about having an ostomy. Now, number nine is how long have you had your ostomy for? So I went into surgery uh, for my ostomy in August of 2013, and that was kind of part one of the, of, of the whole ordeal. The second part I had later in November, and that was to get rid of my rectum. So my surgery was in two parts, and the reason for that was because uh, at the time that I went in, my colon and rectum were just so inflamed that it was actually easier to do it in two parts than to uh, try to get everything done in one. And, you know, I think that was probably the best decision anyway, because it was a relatively um, easy second surgery, I would say, uh, with the exception of some problems that I had with the wound vac. But, you know, that's another story. Now, number 10 is if I could give a new ostomate one piece of advice, what would that be? I think for me, the most important part uh, when I was a new ostomate was, and actually even before I was a new ostomate, was getting in touch with people that have an ostomy and kind of connecting with them because sometimes it's really scary to make that transition from, you know, having no surgeries to having surgery, especially one that, you know, alters your body, that essentially changes how you do things. And you know, just looking at what some other ostomates were doing, it really grounded me and it re really reassured me that, you know, things aren't going to be that bad. Um, and I could certainly have a life, you know, after an ostomy. And people like Tyla, um, you know, there, there, there are so many people actually that I can name, but, you know, it was those people that really got me in the right uh, headspace. Because without that motivation, I think coming from them, I would have really felt like uh, that I was alone or that, you know, I couldn't relate to anybody or that I'd be restricted in some way. And, you know, having seen what those people have gone through and, you know, all the things that they're able to do, it really reassured me that things were going to be okay. So that's really my, I think, my number one uh, piece of advice that I would give to a new ostomate. Of course, there's so many suggestions and, and things that I've kind of learned uh, along the way, but uh, that's probably the most important piece uh, that I've found. Okay, so 10 questions is up. Uh, I, I mean, I can talk all day about ostomies, but uh, you know, maybe we'll save that for another video. So I'd like to ask uh, three other people, I'm gonna tag them, and uh, I'd like them to answer the same questions that I just did. So the first person uh, I want is uh, Megan from the Front Butt YouTuber. Uh, the second one is Katie from the YouTube channel Katie with UC. And the third one is Nicole, and she has a YouTube channel called Beauty in the Bag. So I'll post links below for uh, all their channels, and um, I'm looking forward to seeing their videos. So until next time, take it easy, guys.